The first thing that I want to talk about is the stem separation. So in order to do this, I'm going to open up one of my older sessions where I used a stem separation software, and then I'm going to compare it, the Ableton one, with this other stem separation software. Now, when I do make my short videos where I am remaking a sound, I will usually extract elements from a track. And so that is what I did for this song. The last video I did was for this song, Make Believe, where I remade the bass sound. Now you can see I've done some extraction and I've used this program or this website called La La, and I extracted the drums, the vocals, and the bass, uh, the, the track without the bass, and I believe I also extracted the bass as well. Yeah, so here's the bass. And so I'll extract all these elements and then uh, that will use that to help me come up with my remake. And I think stem separation is uh, really, really useful for like what I'm doing. And also if you're doing remixes and stuff like that, it, it can be really, really helpful. So what I want to do is I want to select the section of the track, this here. So what I'm going to do is just do right click and then down here it says separate stems to our new audio tracks. And it looks like they probably need to fix the capitalization here because for some reason this is the only one where you have the stems to new audio that aren't capitalized. That just might be something with the beta that they're going to fix. But then I'm just going to click on that and then it will give me some options to separate the stems out. So you can see I got vocals, drums, bass, and then others. I assume others is like uh, effects and synths and everything. So let's go ahead and just do separate. And then we'll just wait for this to extract and it does it pretty quickly. So let's, because it's just a little short little section there. So let's go ahead and open up and see what it created. And I can see we've got the other here, which didn't extract anything really. Then you have the bass, then you have the drums in the vocals, and then it puts it into a group. If you look over here, it's put into a group. So let's just play everything grouped together, how it sounds. And compare that to the original. Now, the first thing that I noticed is that I selected this section here, but it, for some reason, moved everything over like it didn't <clears throat> extract it in the position that it was in. So I'm, if I extend this open more, then you can see it extracted this whole track of this clip. So I guess it extracted maybe the whole clip and then placed it there. So that is kind of weird. I'm not sure, exactly sure why it did that. Like I assume that this actual clip here is about this length. And then if I shift it over, I guess that that is what it did. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I guess it just bounced the entire clip, but it didn't position the clip in the position that it was in in my actual session. So that is a bit odd that it did that. Let me retry this though. Let me go ahead and delete all this. And maybe if I just like select it this way, separate stems to new audio tracks, let's separate and see if it does it correctly. So no, it doesn't do it. So I don't know why it does that. Maybe they'll fix that after the beta. So let's just try to match this up then to how it should be. I'm just gonna extract all this out. All right, so that sounds right. Now let's check these out individually. Pretty filtered. Let's listen to these drums. I hear some of the hi-hat stuff like coming in and out. So there's something going on with that hi-hat extraction. And the bass also sounds pretty filtered as well. So let's compare this to the vocals. Uh, let's listen to these vocals. Versus the vocals I split from La La. Big difference in the quality there. Let's, let's listen to the drums. And the drums I split from La La. Better with Lala, and let's check out the bass now. Clearly a difference in the quality. So I'm still going to use Lala based off of that extraction, but let's go back to the website and I wanna show you something that it says, this is powered from the algorithms from Music AI creators of Moises. So if you are using Moises and you like the stem separation from Moises, then I guess that is what they're using to do this, whatever algorithms that Moises uses. But when you scroll down, let's see, if I scroll down to this page a bit more, there's a 
section where it says to see the full list of updates, head to 12.3 beta release notes. So I'm going to head to that page. And when I head to this page, it says that there's an option to enable a high quality option for the stem separation. So that's what I want to do. I want to try to enable a high quality option for the stem separation. I don't know why they, they didn't just like include this with the actual stem separation. So let me figure out how to do this. Apparently you have to create this thing called an options.txt file. And I'm going to open up a text editor. I'm going to use this one called Sublime Text. I think you can use like text edit in Mac. And then I'm just going to copy this thing. Just copy this, do command and copy, copy, command and C. And then just copy it into a text file. And then I'm going to do a save as. And then what you want to do is go into your library. So I'm going to go into my library. And if you don't see the library, what you, you can do is something where you do shift, command, and period. And then I, that opens up like all of your hidden files and folders. So now I do see the library there. So I, And then you go into preferences here and then Ableton. And then you go into your version of live that you want this option file to be in. So this version of live that I'm in is the live 12.3 beta 9. And I just want to call this options text, so I'll do txt, and then that saves the option text file in the Ableton folder where that needs to be in. And if you want to learn how to do that and follow those instructions, all you do is you click on this options.txt file, it's highlighted there, and then it explains everything step-by-step -step how to do that. Now I just closed and reopened the Ableton Live beta, and now I want to try this stem separation with the high quality option. Let's delete these stems that it created, and I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to highlight this and let's do separate stems to new audio tracks. And now you can see I have this high quality option here, this slider, which wasn't there before, and you can put it on high speed or high quality. I do want high quality because that's what we're going to test right now. Let's do separate. And when you do this, it is going to take a lot longer to actually separate them because it's doing something that's high quality apparently. So let's check out the vocals now. She thinks I'm brain. I feel like summer in 20. And it still does this thing where it messes up the placements. Let's fix the placement now. Solo the vocals. Gunma. She thinks I'm brain. Gunma. Gunma. And check the vocals of Lala. Gunma. She thinks I'm brain. I feel like summer in 2016. I feel like summer in 2016. The vocals definitely sound a lot better. They sound a lot closer to how La La sounds. Let's check out the drums now. You can still hear the hi-hat going in and out. There's some filtering going on. Let's, let's check out the drums by La La. There's some dipping going in in the hi-hat stuff. The hi-hat, let's just talk, let's just call them like the top loop stuff in this La La as well. right there. But it still sounds cleaner with that la la. Let's check out the bass. And the other now, the other now has information in it that it didn't have before. It almost feels like that other filtered out all the stuff that should be in the stems. Like that other should not exist because that other is now just pulling out information from like the drums or the <clears throat> bass or the vocals. And overall, after doing this, I'm not sure if I would use the stem separation. I think I would still use Lala if I want the highest quality because I feel like it still isn't all that good even using this high quality option.